Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the uniform distribution in Python. We'll be utilizing a few different packages, NumPy, SciPy, as well as Matplotlib. We're gonna take a look at the classic example of rolling a die, and then we're gonna plot out the CDF as well as the PMF. But before we jump into some Python coding, I wanna go over a little bit more background information about what exactly a uniform distribution is. So as promised, a little bit more information about the uniform distribution. So first, uniform distribution is a type of probability distribution in which all outcomes are equally likely within a certain range. Here are gonna be some examples for you guys. So a number on a six-sided dice. So if you think about it, when you roll a die, right, if you hit any of the sides, you have a one six probability. You could hit a two, you have a one out of six chance. You could hit a five, one out of six chance. You could hit a six, also one out of six chance. It doesn't matter unless it is a loaded die where that would have a different probability for each side, you have a one out of six chance, right? And now another example, think about a random number generator. Remember we we're using a website, I think it was called random.org and you could generate a random number one through 100. You can obviously change the ranges, but let's say that classic example, your chance of hitting two or 95 or 55 or 11, they are all gonna be the same. Now a uniform distribution can be discrete or uniform. Uh, before we also jump into some of the code, I wanna go over both the PMF, which is the probability mass function, and the CDF, which is cumulative distribution function. So PMF is exact probability that the first success occurs on the Kth trial. So the CDF is probability that the first success occurs within the first K trial. So PMF, right? Uh, what's the probability that you would have a four on rolling a die. Well, that'd be one out of six. How about a three? Well, also one out of a six, right? And then if you look at cumulative, that's up to a specific point. We'll be covering both of these over here. And here are some graphs that we will be generating in this video. So you can see over here, we have a frequency of one through six. Then we have the PMF of dice rolls, which we used in the SciPy, and then the CDF of different dice rolls. So. You have a lot to learn in this video. Let's jump into the Python coding. All right, so let's start with our imports. Import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt from scipy.stats, import rand int. And we'll, we'll be going over two examples, uh, one that deals with a continuous one that deals with a discrete. So let's also set up a random seed. So np.random.seed will pass in 11. This is what I use for my source code. And we should be ready to go. So let's take a look at our continuous example. So example one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a random number uh, between zero and one, between zero and one. Let's take a look at that. So. We're gonna say data equals np.random.uniform. And we'll say a size, I'll say size equals 100. It doesn't really matter the size. I just wanna show you guys how this generates. And then we can print this out over here. So print our data. And you can see we have 100 different random numbers that were generated between zero and one. And this over here is gonna be continuous. Now. Let's take a look at another example over here. And we're gonna look at a discrete example. So uh, we're gonna do quite more uh, extensive work beyond just generating our discrete example. I just wanna show you really quick how a continuous would be generated. Uh, but we're gonna use dice rolls. So dice rolls, and uh, let's get started with that. So what we're gonna do is set up our number of rolls. So we'll say n rolls equals lucky seven, seven, seven over there, that cell. And now we can generate this by writing this slide. So we'll say rolls equals np.random.randint. Pass in here one, two, seven. And we'll say size equals n rolls like that. Perfect. And now we're gonna have 777 rolls with results. So we can go over here and we can print out these rolls and you can take a look. Now it's one through seven, right? It starts at one, stops at seven, but it will not print out any seven. It's just gonna print out one through six, something you'll pick up really quickly if you're new to Python. Uh, you can see over here, 
six is our highest number. There is no sevens at all that were printed out. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at some common data points that people may take a look at. So we'll say example three is just data points. Now these are just gonna be literally one line um, for each of these. So I just wanna show you really quick. If you wanna find your mean, just do np.mean and then pass in what we just generated over here with our roles and boom, there we go. We have our mean. We can also do the variance. So var like that. And we can also really quick find our standard deviation. Right. And I have a lot of other videos here on the channel talking about data points to take a, a look at. Um, that's not the main focus for this video. It's more about uniform distributions, but I just wanted to throw this in here really quick. Uh, you can grab some of these over here. Um, so you can say mean 3.5 and standard deviation 1.7. Awesome. Let's take a look now at plotting a histogram. So this will be through example number four. And we'll say plot histogram. And uh, yeah, let's do that. So what we'll say is plt.hist over here, pass in rules, then we'll set our bins. So bins equals, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say np.arrange, and we're gonna pass in one through eight, and then we'll say minus 0 0.5, all right? And then we'll set edge color, edge color equals black, and then we'll set a width. So our width, which that's going to be a typo. So our width over here, we'll say 0 0.8. Awesome. Then set our X label and Y label. So PLT dot X label. And then we'll just copy this line of code for X label because we're going to do a Y label and Y type it off twice. No pun intended. Uh, we have that over here. We'll say dice value for the X. And then over here on the Y, we'll say frequency. And then we can plot our title. So PLT dot title. And we can just name it over here, histogram dice rolls. And you can add in some fancy stuff. Let's go over here and x ticks, plt dot x ticks, np dot arrange, one to seven. And lastly, we'll grid, plt dot grid, axis equals y, line style equals two dashes, and finally alpha equals 0 0.7, and plt.show. And you'll see, right, um, one through six. Now, they aren't gonna be perfect, right, because this is randomly generated data. Right? You can see over here, one is over 120 frequency, right? Two is a little bit less, but then we have six over here, which is over 140 and then four, which is close to 140. So if you were to predict, right? Six more than any of the other numbers based off these 777 rolls, you would have done pretty well. Same with four. Uh, but if you went over here and you predicted two, uh, or if you predicted five, you're kind of out of luck. All right. Um, what I want to do now is plot PMF as well as CDF. Now, what I'm gonna make the assumption is that this dice is fair and it's a little bit over 0 0.16 probability of each side being landed on. I just wanna do this to show you exactly like perfect case scenario, what this would look like. So let's take a look at that. It'll also lead into our CDF. So what we'll have over here is example five. So example five, and we're gonna say PMF. And what we're gonna use is SciPy also on the side thing. So what we're gonna set up is dice distributions. So dice distributions, and we'll say equals a rand int, and we'll pass in one through seven. Again, one through six, and at seven, okay? And then you say values equals np.arrange, one to seven, right? Awesome. And then let's work on our PMF. So. We'll say PMF SciPy, SciPy equals dice distribution dot PMF. And I'll pass in our values over here. And uh, did I misspell? Oh yeah, distributions. And it should be value. I think I flipped both these on my example code. Yeah, I did. It should be values and dice distribution. I'm gonna just change this really quick.
just so I don't make this error a little bit later on. So dice distribution values, not a big deal if you have that in your code, but I just want to have my source code pretty correct. Awesome. And uh, now let's plot this out. So, and what we'll do over here is say plt.bar and first pass in your values, then pass in your PMF. So PMF scipy like that, zero width, width equals 0 0.5. Set your edge color again, so edge color equals black. Set your alpha, alpha equals 0 0.7. I'm gonna retype that out. All right, then we'll have our title and X label and Y label. Honestly, I'm just gonna grab a lot of this over here. So title, PMF, dice rolls, X label over here, dice value, Y label, instead of frequency now, it was gonna be probability. And uh, we'll say plt.show. And we should expect around like between 0 0.16 and 0 0.17. And you can see a little bit above 0 0.16 for each of these. And they have an equal probability because we are using a fair dice and that is why. So, there's that side of things. And lastly, what I wanted to show you guys is calculating our CDF. So that's gonna be our sixth example. So example six is our CDF. And by the way, if these if this die was not uh, equal, which each side, we would not have a uniform distribution because the probability is equal to hit a one or a six or a four or a three or two or five. That's why we have a uniform distribution. And what you'll notice with the CDF is each step that we take in this graph, which is a step plot, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be this specific dice value, the probability, right? So I'm just showing you how this works and uh, let's build it out. So what I'm gonna do also is copy a lot of this code because it's gonna be very similar, right? Um, and I'm gonna actually build that out in the second line. We'll rewrite this, but first let's calculate our SciPy CDF. So CDF SciPy equals and we have dice distribution dot CDF and pass in our values over there. Awesome. And now instead of bar, we're gonna say step over here. We're gonna pass in values. We're gonna pass in our CDF SciPy and that's where this code stays same. We're gonna start rewriting the rest of this. I uh, will say where equals post. So where equals post, then label is CDF. CDF, color equals B, and then marker equals O. Then our X label side of things, we'll say dice value, which is good. Our Y is gonna be cumulative probability. And our title is gonna be CDF dice rolls. Let's also have a grid, so plt.grid true. And then it's also pass in a tight layout, so plt height layout that I think we should be good and check it out so one right under 0 0.2 this would be like 0 0.166 and then over here a little bit above 0 0.32 then we should have 0 0.5 right because you have equal value of hitting one two three as you would four five and six right and each of these over here, each of these steps is gonna be equal to our PMF value of each side, right? Which is pretty awesome. And then all the way here at six, we have one because there's not seven sides of a normal dice, right? There's six sides. So 100% probability that you're gonna hit six or less, which is what our CDF tells us. So hopefully this video is pretty helpful. Just remember uniform can be both discrete as well as continuous. You're gonna see most examples with being a discrete, uh, but the continuous example, right? Zero to one, that random number. We didn't really jump too much into it, but that's that use case. And we went through a bunch of stuff with the dice, right? When you generate it over here, np.random rand int. We also use scipy at the very end when we were doing some plotting and then uh, mean variance standard deviation, pretty basic stuff. Take a look at a histogram first, right? That's what I would highly recommend. And then uh, take a look at plotting your PMF as well as your CDF.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video on the uniform distribution. If you did learn something new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. One of our goals here is to reach 100,000 subscribers in 2025. And the only way we do that is by uploading at least three videos every single week focused on data science. Now, if you want to learn even more about statistics with the help of Python, I have a lot of other videos linked down below. And I'm going to also link a video right over here.